Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4. Read. But the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So the Bible said the weapons of our, of our warfare are not carnal. You understand? So we're not going to pick up um, pick up weapons and so forth to go fight. This is a spiritual fight, my brother. Come come right. closer. What's your name? Ray. Ray Sean. Read. But the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, uh -huh. but mighty through God. The weapon of warfare is not carnal, but mighty through God. To the what? To the pulling down of strongholds. That's how we get free. Because there's a lot of stronghold on mine right now. If I ask you, um, um, one stronghold, look, 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 look at this. If I ask you, who, 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 um, which nationality are you? What would you say? Your nationality. You're Puerto Rican. Nationality. What's your nationality? Black. You're black. Or, or what? What, what other um, name they give us? A monkey. No, African American, right? Puerto Rican. That's what you said. That's a stronghold. Because the Bible does not call us Puerto Ricans. The Bible does not call us um, African American or black. You understand what I'm saying? Read. Casting down imaginations uh -huh. in every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And that's how we free the mind of people. Casting down everything that goes against God. You understand what I'm saying? You got a question? So now, I think earlier I said that um, what color is Christ, right? So I'm going to show you what color Christ is according to the Bible. Because you did believe, you did, you did say earlier that you believe in the Bible, right? All right, give me Revelation chapter one and verse one. Read. Revelation chapter one verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Read it again. The revelation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him. So this is the revealing, revelation, brother, mean revealing of Jesus Christ. Come on. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. All right, so now jump jump down to verse uh, 11. Read. Verse 11. Uh-huh. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. All right, give me verse 10. Verse 10. I saw I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So this is John. John is the one that, that, that was exiled on the island of Patmos. He walked with Christ, so he knew what Christ looked like. You understand? So he said he was, on, on, um, he was on, in the spirit on the Lord's day. What day do you think that is? What's the Lord's day? Sabbath, which is sundown Friday to sundown Saturday. This is a Sabbath day. So he's, he's saying that he was on the, on the Lord's day, meaning on the Sabbath day. Read. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day uh -huh. and heard behind me a great voice uh -huh. as of a trumpet uh -huh. saying, I am Alpha and Omega. So that spirit said, I am Alpha and Omega. Come on. The first and the last. The first and the last. Come on. And what thou seest right in the book. So what do we see right now? I'm going to write down. You know why? Because in time to come, whatever I wrote here is going to change. But at least you have the documentation say, hey, listen, hold on. This is how we fight against what? The false image, anything that, that, that they try to say what Christ looked like. You get what I'm saying? Read. And send it unto the seven churches. Jump down to the next verse. Verse 12. Uh huh. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. Come on. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Uh huh. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. So John, who walked to Christ, recognized Christ to this what? The Son of God. You understand what I'm saying? He said, like, wait. That's the man I walk with. That's what he looked like. He recognized him and he wrote it down. Read. Clothed with a garment uh -huh. down to the foot. Uh -huh. And girt about the pack. So he's, he's describing what he was wearing. Read. With a golden girdle. Uh -huh. His head and his hair. So now he's writing down. He took his pen and he wrote down. He wrote down his garment. Bring it out. Now he's going to his features or his face or his head. Read that again. His head and his hairs were white like Whoa. So the first thing he wrote down was the texture of his hair. And he said his hair was woolly. So now, there are two types of textures in the world. There's str long stringy hair and there's woolly hair. That woolly hair right there, who that, uh, you, who do you associate woolly hair to? Blacks. Exactly. Where did they get a white Jesus from? It's on a flyer. It's on a flyer. 
Where do you get white Jesus from? Long um, string hair. Um, um, string hair. Get what I'm saying? Dark um, with, 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 with white skin. Blue eyes. That's not a description. Read. As white as snow. Uh-huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were a flame of fire. Come on. And his feet like unto fine brass. He, he went from his head down to his feet. Because he must have had on, like Sandra, you would be having, having on like, a, you know, shoes like us. Because we can't see his, his feet. You know what I'm saying? It's covered up. So that means he was um, wearing some type of, um, you know, shoes that can see his skin color. Read that again. And his feet like unto fine brass. So he said, yo, he wrote down. He's like, wait, his feet were down. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Or derivative. What color is it that it is close to? Goldish, bronze, yeah, brownish. You're right. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burned. Not only it is brownish, but it looks like it is burned. So he wrote that down. He said, wait, hold on one second. I got to make sure I give the, the full description. All right? So that people can understand. He put its brownish breath and it's burnt. That means if you burn anything in, in, uh, in fire, what color does it come out? Charred. That's right. Yo, Christ is black, black, blue, black. That's right. Black than you and I. Did you know that the angels also that color as well? Um, Adam, the first man, is the same color as well. Give me right. that in Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Yo. So now, because remember, give me, um, give me 1 of verse 26. Because Christ always look, um, look like his father. Get what I'm saying? Because his father also well has woolly hair. Give me that in Daniel 7. Hold that. Daniel 7, verse 9. Because when you look at Christ, because when, when, when John saw Christ and wrote it down, get what I'm saying? He recognized, so now, if he was walking white on the earth, he would not be able to recognize him as being black in heaven. Right. A lot of times, what Christianity does is said they said, listen, that was his heavenly figure. If that was his heavenly figure, that means John would not be able to recognize him as a son of man. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? He would not recognize him because John walked with Christ. So when he says one like on the son of man, that means it looked exactly like how he was walking when on this earth, on this earth. But more and more a majesty looking kind of body with greater gar garment looking garment. Bad garment it was in. You That's understand? Right. Read. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. Uh -huh. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. So he's, Daniel said I beheld till the throne were cast down. The thrones mean that the nation, the kingship, the rulership of the earth was cast down. Because in Daniel's vision, America is in there as being destroyed with, with uh, even with, with, with uh, Ezra's. Gives that America is prophesied to be destroyed, which is a great evil that's going to be burnt. That's right. Read. I beheld till the thrones were cast down uh -huh. in the ancient of days. Brother, the ancient of days is the one that have no days. He's before days. That means that's the most high. Read. Did sit. Uh-huh. Whose garment. So that means if he did sit, what does that mean? If he sit, uh, what does he have? If he can sit, what does he have? He has legs. He has um, um, a body. You understand what I'm saying? Christianity Church said that God is a spirit. That means that he's, he can, people can see through him. But the Bible contradicts that. Um, um, uh, saying otherwise than that. Contrary to what they're saying. You understand what I'm saying? He has a body because in order for a body to sit, you have to have buttocks. Read. And the ancient of days did sit, uh -huh. whose garment was white as snow. Uh huh. And the hair of and his the what? head. And the hair. Now the texture of his hair. Of his head like the pure wool. Who has woolly hair? Look at your beautiful hair, man. Look at our hair, man. We all have woolly hair right here. You understand what I'm saying? So the Most High God has woolly hair. Jump down to uh, um, Genesis 2 and verse 7. Now we're going to go to 1 verse 26. We're going to go to the, to the man. First Adam that was created. How did he look? Read. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Uh -huh. And God said, uh -huh. let us make man in our image. Let us make man in our image. That means if Christ is, has woolly hair, that means what? The, and the most have woolly hair, that means... The first human beings that created would have woolly hair as well. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Read. And God said, 
Let us make men uh -huh. in our image. Come on. After our likeliness. After our likeness. You get what I'm saying? So the first man or the first beings of the earth would, would look like Christ or look like the Most High. Genesis 2 and verse 7. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. Come on. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. The Lord God formed Read man up. of the dust of the ground. Read. And breathed into his nostril uh -huh. the breath of life. Breathed in his nostril the breath of life. Come on. And man became a living soul. Uh -huh. Read that over again. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So now, the dust of the ground. The deeper you go, what color is it? The more darker it gets. Yeah. So the, the, so the, 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 the soil or the dirt, right, is always a different color as you go down. Darker, it gets darker. It gets way darker. You understand? So the first man, Adam, which was an alpha male, was created, had woolly hair. So that means everybody after that, that was created, would have to have woolly hair. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? So now, so now, you get the understanding of what Christ looked like. So if someone asks you, what Christ looked like, what would you say to them? Yes, woolly hair, uh -huh. What else? He's dark, yeah, good. But where would you go? Where? Where would you go? Which version, uh, which um, uh, book did we go to first? The last book of the Bible. Revelation. Have you ever read the Bible before? You read the Bible before. Okay. You went to a Christian church? When you were younger? So you don't go no more. Why? Okay. So you got to a certain age. They decided not to go back to the Christian church, right? What was that thought in your head? Why did it stop, stop going? My own personal belief. Yeah. Um, you know? Why? Full, full, full belief in everything that they're saying. You know, um, not total agreement with my family or teachings. So you knew that there was something wrong with the teaching of the church, right? Isaiah 29 verse 13. Because this is what a Christian church is all about. They do nothing of Christ. They do nothing that Christ say, but yet they say they love God. Yet they say they're saved. Yet they say they're going to go, go to heaven, but do nothing of what Christ did. They follow not in Christ's footsteps. Read. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 13. This is the state of the Christianity of the church. Read. Wherefore the Lord say, uh -huh. for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth because that's what all they do. all they do in the christian church is draw near to god with their mouth you get what i'm saying read and with their lips do honor me i love god i love jesus you get what i'm saying i i i love my neighbor but they don't show nothing all lip service you ask them how do you love your neighbor well you should just give them food give me a scripture can't read but have removed their heart far from me they remove their mind far from god you understand my brother that's what they do so the heart is the mind give me that in, in mark 7. the heart is the is the mind mark 7 and verse 21 read mark chapter 7 verse 21 uh-huh for from within out of the heart of men uh-huh proceed evil thoughts because your thoughts is in the head Come closer, my brother. What's your name? Huh? Xavier. 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 So we're going over, my brother. We went over uh, what Christ looked like. He's a black man. Did you know that? You knew he was a black man. So now we're going over the state of the Christian church. And this is the state of the Christian church we're reading about. Read. So now, the heart is your mind. And that's what scripture said. Start over. So we'll show you that your, your heart is your mind. Read. Mark chapter 7 verse 21 uh -huh. For from within Out of the heart of men How, Out of the heart of men Out of the mind of man Come on Proceed evil thought Because your actual pumping heart That pumps blood through your body Can't think You understand This That's has right. thoughts You understand what I'm saying Read Adulteries So adulteries can come from here It, st it manifests first Or it, you, th you think about it in your mind first and then you manifest through action. That's right. right. Fornication. So now fornication, because maybe you're growing up, you're a young man. You're probably still a virgin, right? 
you're not a virgin. You slept around before. So everything thought from here. Fornication, adultery, read. Murders. Murders, because in the black community, what happens in our community? A lot of what? Murders happen in our community, right? A lot of hatred happen in our community. We don't love one another. There's no love in the community. If I come and step on these shoes, you get mad and probably just take a gun and shoot me. Murders starts from here, from your mind. Come on. Theft. Theft. A lot of thieving happened in the black community. I cannot have a TV without somebody come to my house trying to rob me. We're in the same situation, same dire situation, but yet you want to rob from me. Read. Covetousness. Covetousness. Come on. Wickedness. Uh-huh. Deceit. Uh-huh. Lasciviousness. See? Now go back. So now we have, we have an understanding. Out of our, our mind or our heart is our head. Our mind. All right? Read. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 13. Uh-huh. Wherefore the Lord said, uh -huh. For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. Come on. But with their lips do honor me. Uh-huh. But have removed their heart far from me. They removed their yeah. heart or their mind far from God. Why? And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. The fear towards God is taught by who? The precept of men. Which men we're talking about? Which men taught um, the Christian doctrine, my brother? Which men taught the Christian doctrine? Or taught us the Christian doctrine? Who? You don't know? Who taught us? Remember, in slavery, we, didn't, we, didn't, we couldn't read and write. So who taught us about Christianity? You try. Who taught us about Christianity? Speak up. Huh? My brother. Who taught us about Christianity? You can't tell us? You can't? You, y'all, really? Y'all don't know where Christianity come from. Remember, we were in slavery. Think about it. I want y'all to use your head. We're in slavery, right? We couldn't read or write. You get what I'm saying? And we were under subjection to a certain people. We learned everything from them. Who are those people? You don't get it? White people. Exactly. White people. That's right. The Bible said, to read that last part again. But have removed their heart far from me, uh -huh. and their fear toward me. Their fear. How to fear God, come on, is taught by the precept of men. The white man. The white man taught yeah. us. Because his precept is, is Christian Christianity doctrine. That's what his precept is. That is why you don't know who you are. That's why y'all still go to Christianity, Christianity church. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're still underneath what? You're still underneath the witchcraft of the white man. That's right. all it is. Christianity is the witchcraft of the white man. Bring it out. You understand what I'm saying? Give me Colossians 2 and verse 16. And that's what we do. We're here to, to, to release the minds of our people. So I can understand that this Bible is our history book. That's this Bible right. tells us the rise and the fall of our people. And how to get right with God. And the reason for our fall. Why are we at the bottom? Why you don't know that, that you're a real Jew? Why you don't know that we're the Israelites? Why you don't know we're being punished by God? That is why we're in we're in Bronx, South Bronx, in poverty. We have the worst education. Redlining. When it comes to mortgage, we get the worst loans. We get we live in the worst neighborhoods. We got worst worst food in the grocery store. Do you think that the the meat that is being sold? In our grocery store in South Bronx and in the ghetto is the same meat being sown in the in the rich white neighborhood. The food is old, so there you gotta understand this though. The food has different grades when it comes to meat. There's grade A, B, and C and D. We get the grade um, C and D's. We don't get the grade A um, grade grade A meat. So that have an effects on our bodies. That's why we have certain certain disease in our body. That's why we have certain mental disease too. Because the food that you put in affects the way you think as well. Because all that chemical that's in the food affects our brain. You understand what I'm saying? Read. Bring it out. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Uh -huh. Beware lest any man spoil you. The Bible said, and it's always been written there. The Bible said, beware lest any man who? The white man. 
spoon us Word. read through philosophy through their philosophy or ide ideology Word. and we li literally sat back and accepted with open hands the same Word. man that that raped robbed and murdered Bring is it that out. the same man tells about god and how to please god Bring it out. think about it for a second brothers the same man that raped robbed and murdered us tell us how to serve god that don't make no sense and we never question it we go with it and we never questioned one time about it i said wait a minute well, hold on one second you tell me about god you want what, what? wait you just you just fed my baby as um you just use my baby as alligator bait and then you tell me that God loves me and this is how I should serve God? Listen, where's your judgment? That's the first, first, first thing we should have asked is, where's your judgment? You can't tell me about God when you did all that stuff to my, my, my listen. The condition of slavery has not been told to us. How severe slavery was. If it was told to us, we would have hatred for what? The same white man. The same European. But out. most of us even love to marry them. Yeah, I got my white girl and so forth. Like you have, you, 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 once you get a white girl, you be, you, you're thrown into upper echelon type of society. I got my white girl and, and walk, walking proud. What's wrong with you? You understand what's wrong with us? We're crazy. Read. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Come on. And vain deceit. And vain deceit. Because we've been deceived to think that Christ is a white man. To think that the, the, the Jews in, uh, or the Jewish people in Israel are the children of, um, are the real children of Israel. Bring it down! The Jewish, they've been telling us for a long time. They say they're Jewish. So that suffix, if I say I'm blackish, does that mean I'm black? I'm like black. So they've been telling us for centuries they're not the real Jews. But yet we don't right. see that. And you all that said in front of me are the children, children of Israel. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.